welcome here everyone to transfer everything from your old iPhone and I really mean everything to your brand new iPhone 15 plus if you see the home screen here and you have access to the lock screen then we need to do a factory data reset to do this let's start by opening up the settings and inside of the settings I want you to scroll all the way down until you see general and then you're going to scroll to the bottom and you're going to select reset or transfer or reset iPhone. You are then going to select erase or content in settings then select continue and then erase iPhone and then we need to wait for this to complete. Once we are on the setup screen let's swipe up or press home to open we are then going to set up our iphone until we see this certain screen the screen in question is quick start once you are on quick start leave your iphone 15 plus on this screen and then on our old iphone go to the home screen and check if you see a message saying set up new iphone this iPhone, this old one, is not showing that message. So to troubleshoot, let's start by opening up the settings. And in the settings, first of all, go into Wi-Fi and make sure Wi-Fi is turned on. Then go into Bluetooth, make sure Bluetooth is on and this iPhone is discoverable. Then wait 10 to 20 seconds on the home screen. If you still don't see the message, we're going to need to press and hold power and volume down together. And then when we see a slide to power off, we're going to slide to power off the iPhone. And then we're going to hold the power button to turn back on the iPhone. And we're going to wait on the home screen for that message to appear. And there we go. We see here, set up new iPhone. Let's tap on continue. And now the old iPhone will connect with your new one. We see hold your new iPhone up to the camera. So you need to scan this blue bubble using the camera on your old iPhone. So I'm going to do that one now. And once the scan is complete, it's going to get everything ready. So we see set up new iPhone, use your Apple ID. And so if this new iPhone here is for you, select set up for me. Otherwise, select create child account. I'm going to select set up for me. And now we can see the setup is going ahead. You can see here it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Your new phone is now contacting Apple servers to see if someone owned this phone in the past. And if they did and they didn't sign out, then it will ask you to enter in the old person's login. If you don't know the old person's login and it's asking you to enter it in, contact the old owner and ask them to sign out of their account. If they can't, return the phone. Otherwise, you may not be able to use your new iPhone. Now, if we see here software update and you can see important update your software now if you want to transfer data then we need to update our iphone's software so i'm going to tap on update now and we will need to wait for this update to complete if you do not have a message asking you to update your iphone software then i will have a chapter in the description on where to skip to so you can resume the tutorial without having to watch stuff that you don't need to watch and if you do need to update your iPhone software, you should see the Apple logo, the progress bar. This is just finalizing the update. After the software update, we need to go back to the quick start menu. And on the old iPhone, whatever you see here, just tap on the X. There's a good chance you will not see the set up your iPhone message again, which is what we are looking for. And in that case, we will need to turn off and back on our old iPhone one more time 
and wait for that message one more time. Now we see the set up new iPhone screen again. Let's select continue. And we will need to repeat the connection process. So any second now, we will need to scan the new iPhone using our old, our old iPhone's camera, hopefully for the last time. And we should see this for the last time. Use your Apple ID and let's select set up for me. Now, if you didn't need to do the software update, you should see the data and privacy. And if we did do the software update, we should all be on the same screen. Let's select continue for data and privacy, as that is the only option. We have here face ID, and I would recommend you set this one up. Me personally, I'm going to select set up later. Now it wants us to create an iPhone passcode. This is mandatory if you did add a biometrics. Me personally, I'm going to select passcode options and then don't use passcode. But on my personal iPhones, I always use a passcode. Now we see here, transfer data from. Let's select continue. And now it's going to start slowly doing the transfer. So the first thing, is this going to move your Apple ID account from your old iPhone to your new iPhone? And we will need to enter in a passcode to verify the login. And now we need to agree to the terms and conditions. If you disagree, you cannot use your iPhone. So let's tap on agree. And I can see the sign in has initiated. We see here, make this your new iPhone. Let's tap on continue. And it's asking for the location services. I'd recommend you enable location services as all applications cannot use your location unless you allow the permission. And each app will have to ask you to allow the permission. Now we see here, iPhone analytics. This is optional. So I'm going to select don't share. If your iPhone has emergency SOS, we can see iPhone is ready to help. Let's tap on continue. And now the data transfer will begin. Make sure both iPhones say, uh, stay somewhat close together. And depending on how many files you need to transfer, this may take a couple of hours. However, in my case, hopefully it will not take too long. You may need to charge the iPhones if you see the battery is getting low, but that is not a requirement. So I'm going to Cut, so when this is done. Now we see here on the old iPhone, transfer complete. And uh, on the iPhone to the right, you'll see one more progress bar, and then we should be done. If we tap continue on the old iPhone, it wants us to erase this phone. And I don't recommend this. The reason why is because some accounts on your new iPhone, you may need to re-sign into. And you may need your old iPhone to sign in to the apps on your new iPhone. So let's select not now. We can always factory reset later. And on our new iPhone, literally everything will be the same on the new one as the old one. And so you'd go through, open any apps on your new iPhone and just check, are you signed in? If you're not, make sure you do get signed in to all of your applications and then on your old iPhone, you can factory set it if you need to sell it, for example. And with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.